What's up guys, the Shy Guy Yoshi team, and today, welcome to the top 10. Now you guys remember I did a top 10 series of my three guests in the Nintendo Switch games, and now we're going out to Splatoon 2. Now, this episode is going to be about how, the top, top 9, that's right, top 9, least special weapons. I told you guys, if you guys haven't missed the live stream of the No Pope vs. Pope, make sure you go watch that. I told you guys that I was going to make that video, make this video, and here we are. Now... Um, I may have different, um, choices of what is my least favorite or my least, um, special weapons. And if you guys, if you guys disagree with that, that's fine. Just let me know in the comments below what, what's your least, least special weapons. So, yeah. Um, here we go. So. So, here we go. The number nine. It, alright, here we go. So, there's only nine, there's only nine wep there's only nine special weapons, which are the Tento Missiles, the Stingray, the Inkjet, the Splashdown, the Ink Armor, the Bubble Blower, the Baller, the Ink Storm, and the bub Bomb Launchers. Now, here we go. The number nine is Bubble Blower. Now, this, this weapon is not that bad, actually. It says, this fires a maximum of three bubbles that... Yeah, uh, this... This fires a maximum of three bubbles that, when ink in your team's color, burst and attacks that surround area. If ink your opponent's color, they shr they shrive up. Now what that means is, um, this person can use them three bubbles, and the opponent, if they hit them, if they hit the bubble bubble, then they shrink down and they disappear. That was not bad. I I think in my opinion, I think in my opinion, the bubble blower is not that bad. And yeah, and that, I don't like that. It's okay. Number do, number eight, the ink armor. Now the ink armor um is the first special weapon that you use when playing Splatoon 2. And what it does is it grants each member of your team armor that will completely nullify the damage of from a single attack. Works all team members reg, reg uh, regardless of proximity. So what that means is um once you have the ink armor, it had. It, it's like a short amount of time. It's kind of like a shield, but like once you once your opponent like hits you, it goes away. And not only that, but if you use it, it you can use it with all of your team. So like for example, if you have an ink armor and just and you have three teams, you can use it on yourself and your other three teams. So that's re that's a really cool um helpful weapon. But that was okay. But like it's always annoying because like. That thing is like it's really annoying because like every time I try hitting, but still use the ink armor ray. That's so annoying. Number seven, the bu the bomb launch. Now this one is hot. This one is annoying. This one is kind of annoying. I I don't know. I was about to put this in number seven or six, but I put I put in number seven. The reason I put it in number seven because when you use the the bomb launchers, the bomb launchers basically you get the auto bomb. It's so basically the the bomb launcher is these launches, um, these launches the clues bomb without consuming any of your ink. The longer you hold R, the farther you throw the bomb. So basically, it's it's uh, it's only one sub weapon, which is the splat bomb, the suction bomb, the burst bomb, the curling bomb, and the auto bomb. So yeah, but that but it gets really annoying because I every. Um, cause when I play Splatfest, I always uh, get uh, go against the opponent, and then they use the bomb launcher, and they use the splat bomb, and that's why it's a really annoying weapon. Like, I reckon it's really it's really helpful if you use it, but like when you face the opponent, it's it's gonna be hard to do. Number six, the splashdown. Now the splashdown is really also annoying because the splashdown it basically. If you press, um, if you have the, the special weapon, your inkling goes up and then it hits the ground, which ca which causes ink your ink to spread spread around. Now this is a also this is that is like a really awesome weapon. I love using using it, but when I up against an opponent, it gets annoying too. Like if you're at a corner and the person you splash on, they can hit you right away, and it gets really really annoying. Number five, the inkjet. The inkjet is um one of my favorites actually. I I, I love it, but this can ha this can actually cause some problems because 
with the inkjet, it, you you will basically it says this launcher this launches you into the air and and spraying and spraying out ink, allowing you to attack opponents with the launch launcher. You can fly higher templar temporarily by pressing B, I think. Yeah, by pressing B. So basically, you go through the air, you ink you ink people, and it gets annoying because once you have if your opponent has it, then they can know where you are and they can literally kill you with it. So that it gets I hate, I, it's a good thing to use, but it's, it's bad for using an opponent. Number four, the baller. Now, the baller is one of my favorites. It's my number one favorite, um, weapon. I may do a top ten most favorite special weapons, but overall, this one's okay. Because what it does is you're a little, a ball, and you try to hold around. If you hold down ZR, it charges up for powers a certain amount of time pass, and then it'll explode. Kind of like a hamster ball, like when you go through a hamster and the hamster goes to the ball. It's kind of like a hamster ball. The reason, I, <coughs> the reason I don't like it is because once the opponent uses it, the opponent like basically like like you like when when the opponent sees you and use the and the opponent uses a baller, he can know where you are and you can and they can explode and he can and the person can explode you and you can die. So it's basically kind of annoying too. All right, we have three choices. The Stingray, the Ink Storm, and the, and the ten, Tent of Missiles. Number three, the Stingray. Now, Stingray. Mm, Stingray. I don't like Stingray. Stingray's annoying. And I'll tell you why. Because if you use a Stingray, the Stingray is good. But in my opinion, the Stingray's stupid. I just I don't I don't use it that all that much. But if the opponent uses it, then that gets annoying because if you use as a stingray, then the opponent knows where you are. He can he can detect you of where you are, and it gets really annoying. And and like I was like, bruh, like stop hitting me with the stingray, and it gets really annoying. I remember one time I was playing with my friend, and he had the stingray. He uses it, and he literally know where I was, and he literally killed me. And it got it got annoying. All right. Number two, the ink storm. The ink storm is basically an annoying thing. I was thinking between the ink storm and stingray if the stingray is number two and the ink storm is number three, but I think this one's number two because if you use the ink storm, then it's like a cloud. It's like a, it's like a basically a storm where it's, it's it pours out a lot of ink, and the way it is is the ink storm is really really annoying because. The opponent uses it, and, like, if you don't have the ink around you, then you're basically dead. And it gets really, it, it's also really, really annoying. That's why. And number one. The Tenta Missiles. This one is annoying. I hate this one. I love using it, but it's so annoying. And I will tell you two reasons or three reasons why. One, number one, it gets annoying when I when I, okay. So when I use it, um, the type of missiles is what it does is if you press ZR, this will fire missiles at all at all enemies that you can t tag with your cursor. The more enemies you tag, the more effect it is. It is. I use this weapon so many times. Like, like, I use it, but the enemies always hit me, even if I use it. Number two, this is the reason why I don't like this. Every time, I just did Splatfist of this. Every time I, okay, I did a batch of Splatfist, Pulp versus No Pulp. And I literally got hit by two Tental Missiles. That's right, two Tental Missiles. I dodged one Tental Missile, and then out of nowhere, another one came. I got so mad, and then I died. This is why I don't like this weapon. This weapon is so freaking annoying. I don't like it. It's really, it's really annoying. Like it, I I don't like it. It's so it's annoying. I don't like it. Yeah. All right, that was a quick video. All right, I hope you guys love the the um, the the choices I make. Um, if you guys don't like the choices, that's fine by me. It's my opinion. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below 
what is your what is your least favorite um splat splat weapon or let me know what's your least favorite special weapon. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.